Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this crochet tutorial I will be showing you how to create this absolutely beautiful, beautiful border stitch. So this border is made up using rounds of the spider stitch. Now, I know the spider stitch might not be the most appealing name but that's just what it is. Um, now don't come at me in the comments because I know a lot of people don't mind spiders and actually really quite like spiders. However, I have quite the serious fear of spiders. Um, but yeah, the stitch itself is much more beautiful than the name suggests. It's really, really simple. You can build up multiple rounds of the spider stitch or you can, like I have on this side, leave it with just one round of the spider stitch or you, like I say, or you can build up multiple rounds. It's totally up to you. Now obviously I must apologise for the sound of my voice in this video. <laughs> it's just that awful time between autumn and winter where the temperature is constantly changing and the whole house seems to be constantly filled with books and everyone is just taking it in turns to be poorly. So I do apologise for the state of the voice in this video. However, I still wanted to film and get videos done. So let's just jump straight in with our absolutely beautiful spider stitch border. So as you saw, I'm just going to be working this border around this beautiful granny square, which I will leave a link for in the description box in case you wanted to make your own one of these. And we're just going to start by adding a round of UK double crochet. So obviously in the US, these are your single crochet. And I always recommend doing a round of these stitches no matter what border you plan to use because it just makes sure that you've got that lovely even finish around whatever project you've made ready to start building up your border. It's always really important to have a good base before you build anything on top of it. So we'll just add very quickly a round of UK double crochet or US single crochet. So I always like to start in the corner. I'll just insert my hook yarn over and pull up and then yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So that is our first UK double. I'm just going to move that around a little bit. I'm going to chain two for my corner space because you want to have nice sharp corners and then back into the same space you'll do another double crochet. So, And then obviously you'll just work all the way around your project doing a double crochet into every stitch. Now obviously on a granny square like this it's really easy because there's no awkward sides or anything, we're just working into the tops of stitches. However if you're working along the sides that don't have normal stitches like these then obviously just place them evenly throughout the sides of your project making sure that you don't get any rippling but also making sure that they're not too tight because if you do too many stitches it will ripple if you don't do enough stitches it will bunch up so a round of UK doubles all the way around first of all okay so once you've got your lovely round of UK doubles I've slip stitched to join to the top of where we started from and you can see that I'm right next to my chain 2 corner space So if you were planning to change colours between these rows then obviously you would fasten off and then you would start with a standing UK double crochet into that chain 2 space. However, because I'm right next to it, I'm literally just going to work straight into that chain 2 space and I'm going to yarn over and pull up and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both to create a double crochet. And then go into chain 2 because it's my corner space and back into my corner space I will do another double crochet. So your corner spaces will be exactly the same as what you worked for your double crochet round. In the corners you will just do double, chain two and double. However we're now going to start working our little spider stitch. So you're going to skip the first double crochet after your corner space. So you're going to skip this stitch here and then into the next stitch you will work 
double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So obviously remember, in the US that's single, chain one, single. So skip one and then into the next you'll do UK double, chain one and back into that same space, that same stitch you'll do another double crochet. Skip one and again double, chain one, double back in the same stitch. One more time you'll skip one and then double, chain one, double. And you'll see you'll just start getting those very delicate little soft peaks there like so. So if you just continue that now it is so so simple so if you continue that all the way along to your next corner space and then you'll do your double chain two for the corner and double and you'll work that all the way around and you'll get a really simple beautiful effective border. So I will meet you as I get back round to finish off. Okay so as you finish off this round You absolutely can just leave it with the one round. I think it looks really beautiful. So that's it after one round of the spider stitch. So as I say, you can absolutely leave it there. It's very, very delicate and looks really beautiful. However, you can add continuous rounds of spider stitch. So you could do just one, you could do 12. It is completely up to you. But for the purpose of the tutorial, I will just quickly show you now how you would build on this if you wanted to. As I say, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, this is how you would. So I'm just going to do it in a separate colour, just so that you can really see. So I'm going to just join in my corner space, my corner chain two. So I will start with my standing double. And again, I will chain two for my corner and then double back in that corner space. So as you come out of your corner space, you will have a double crochet there, which is part of the last corner. And then you'll come across and you'll see you've got two stitches worked into the same one. So that is your first part of your spider stitch. So you've got your two stitches there separated by your chain one space. So into your chain one space, you will do your new stitches. So in between those two you will have, it's hard to see, but there is a space just there. So you will work into your chain one space, your new stitches. So you'll go double and your chain one back into that same space, your second double. And then again you will skip to your next one where you've got your two stitches worked together and you'll have your chain one space in between and again you'll work into your chain one space with your double chain one and double and then again when you get to your corners you will do your double chain two double instead so that is how you would build up you will just work your new stitches into the chain one space of your previous round so that is it for this tutorial. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this one. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below as well telling me what you think of this stitch and also subscribe to the channel if you don't already. But that is it for this one, but I will see you again for another tutorial really soon. But thanks as always for watching and bye for now.